This conference okay. will now be recorded. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Nell Taroko again, and this is our fourth day for the Dallas Evo Advanced Online Training. Uh, let's continue the topic about this luminous specification. Slideshow and then the current. Okay, so letter seven. Please type in the chat box which one is the right luminaire that is mentioned in this specification. I will read it. All you need to do is type in the chat box if it is the VSC2 Ocean Walk Round or then VMX Bow High Bay or the Smart Pack. Okay, this is the specification. A wall mount luminaires are an ideal choice for cost-effective, highly efficient lighting. Oops, the SPK perfectly illumin illuminates building facades, pedestrian pathways, alleys, parking garages, and security areas. Key features. Housing is constructed from durable corrosion-resistant die-cast aluminum. Threaded knockouts for a conduit or photocell offered in a, an asymmetrical light distribution and available with high lumen output, vision bar LEDs, and 100,000 to 150,000 hour LED lamp. So guys, which one is the painting that is mentioned in the specification? Okay, Manuel, you're wrong. <laughs> Eyal, you're wrong. <laughs> it says it's a wall mount luminaire. Yes, Jury, you're right. Martin, uh, correct. Manuel, wrong. Paula, wrong. The user, user, you're right. I don't know your name, user. Nay, Mayo, you're wrong. <laughs> okay, so only three of you answered it correctly. The correct answer is smart pack. Okay, based on the specification, this is about the smart pack. Obviously, it says wall mounted. Of course, VSC is uh, wall mounted also. But maybe you're confused with the word facade. But it says here pedestrian pathways, alleys, parking garage, and security areas. The word is security areas. Yeah, maybe you can also use this one, but this is too high. The lumen output of this flood that is, I'm sure, too high. So this is the correct one. Yes, a symmetrical beam, correct? Yeah, that is correct. Yes, and then also threaded knockouts. Maybe they it also have threaded knockouts, but yeah, smart pack. I was confused because of the symmetrical line. Okay, Paula, it's fine. Next, uh, which one is this fitting? Letter A, B, or C? Letter A says a recess F down light incorporating a thermally optimized. Letter B is a recess modular direct indirect 30 watt LED luminaire. Letter C is high performance surface mounted LED luminaire uh, electronic fixed output. Yes, Jury, you're right. Letter B. EL correct. B. Manuel correct. B. Paula B, B, Abdullah B, correct. So, yes, because it's obviously, it says LED downlight. It's not a download, co common sense. It's a 60 by 60. And it says recess modular direct. Maybe you confuse with direct indirect. Direct indirect means that there is light directly and there's indirect inside because the LED is, is in the middle. And maybe you're confused with the surface mounted. Obviously, it's not surface mounted. It's recess. So, the correct answer is letter B. Okay, next. So this one, this is another example. This project is a uh, hazardous area. So which one is uh, the correct fitting? Letter A or letter B? And you can see if you read the specification, it says, A Mayo, you're wrong. Martin, you're right. Jury, correct. EL, correct. Manuel, you're wrong. <laughs> Okay, correct answer is letter A. Why is it it's letter A? Yes, correct. Paula, you're right. Because it's a it picks uh, wrong. EL, it's wrong. It's not because it's IP66, it's not it's now applicable to hazardous area. Okay? The correct answer is letter A because ATEX certified. What is the ATEX means? And it's zone 2. Correct. Martin, it's correct. You're right. It's for gas or explosion protection. So if your project is hazardous area or industrial area with explosion, possible for explosion, so your fitting or your luminaire should be with ATEX certification. 
And you will find out this one in the lighting standards, the ATEX. This is the keyword. Even if it's IP66, EL, it's not applicable for this because it should be explosion proof. And you should remember that one. Not all IP rated fitting are not for them. So it be explosion proof. All right. So very good. Next. Let's go fast. This one. Ah, okay. So we're done with the exercise. So what is a luminaire? So a luminaire is a complete electric light fixture including the lamps. So if you, if you mention the word luminaire, it means it has lamps, mechanism inserting or holding, wiring, socket, and other protective like diffuser and everything. So when you use the word luminaire, it means a complete set. Okay, the word luminaire is a complete set. A luminaire will have five specific functions. Holds and protect, provides safe electrical connection, allows appropriate insulation, mounting kit, enhances aesthetic, with a, of course, the body, the diffuser, the uh, mounting kit and everything, and then the light distribution, which is the optics and the lamps inside. Okay, that is the word luminaire. So, when you do the specification, this is very important because when you do specific, specification text, you need to consider this basic information. At least comply with this basic information when you write a specification. Okay, specification text is very important. So when you specify, consider the following application. Like for example, this is for retail shop, or this is for hazardous area, or this is for road lighting, or this is for offices, or this is for hospital, or this is for food industry. You need to mention the word, the application part. Mounting type, is it suspended? Is it surface mounted? Is it recess? Or is it uh, pole top mounted? Or is it catenary mounted? Those words, you need to understand what is the meaning of those words. And then light distribution. Is it wide beam, narrow beam, symmetrical, asymmetrical, blah, blah, blah. And of course, lamp type. Are you using LED, fluorescent, metal halide, sodium lamp, blah, blah, blah. Number of lamps. Sometimes you need to mention the number of lamps, especially if you're using a conventional lamp like the fluorescent or uh, other lamps except LED. Or maybe you can also mention the number of LEDs inside the luminaire. So, for example, 2 by 18 or 4 by 16, something like that. And then the power of lab, how many wattage is this? 20 watt, 5 watt, 19 watt, 100 watt, 150 watt. And then the ballast type, are you using DALI, dimmable, uh, or only HF, only on and off, or just a regular ballast, or what kind of ballast? And then if there is an emergency option, you need to mention that one. Is it a three-hour emergency option? Is it one-hour emergency option? Or it's an LD option with the ballast with emergency option? Protection degree, it's important. Are you using IP20 only? So I'm sure you, I, I hope that you know those uh, words already. Is it IP20, IP44, IP65? What is the difference between IP66 and IP65? I hope you know now. And what is IP68? And what is IP68 submersible? What is the difference? Both has IP68, but the other one is the word sub submersible. And then if you ask, uh, you need to also add a certification if it's necessary, like the A text, like what I made an uh, example a while ago. Because it's if it's even if you mention it's for explosion uh, pr project or application, if you don't have the A text certification, your luminaire will not pass to that project okay and then materials is it aluminum diecast aluminum is it plastic because sometimes the architects or the other uh, client will just um, look at the material or the body or the luminaire without knowing that that material is not applicable for a specific function so you need to mention is it diecast aluminum or plastic or glass or whatever okay and then of course the C or sorry this is CCT CRI and optics is it 4,000 Kelvin, 3,000 Kelvin, is it 90 CRI? Are you using it for food or in a supermarket? So the CRI should be higher. Or is it in a retail shop? So the CRI should be higher. If it's in the sports, then CRI is okay. So we have, let's say, uh, 60 or 70 CRI only. All right. And this is what we call specs lacking. 
most of the manufacturer are fighting to have their luminaires having this what we call specs lacking. What is specs lacking? For example, uh, Philips issued one luminaire or one fitting that other competitors cannot compete because they have the word, say, UGR22. This is just an example. Or maybe um, 40 degrees, a negative 40 degrees to 50 degrees, and nobody can beat that one. Other manufacturer can only do 40 degrees. Or maybe 25, 2,000 lumen in uh, in what wattage is this? In 174 watt, and nobody can beat that one. So this fitting, for example, has the word specs lacking because nobody can defeat that technical specification from the other brand or competitor. Okay, so that's it. it and when you write the specification text, even if it's just an open specification, even if you don't want to mention any brand or any specs lacking, make sure you include this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 items in your specification text. All right, so let's see. Yeah, okay, another, ex uh, another example here before we go. Yes, uh, this is a Philips and Thorn Fittings. It's, I'm not promoting them. I'm not, I don't want to compare them, but it's just my example right now. This is the data sheet of Philips, and this is the data sheet of Thorn. What do you think is the most pleasing to read? <laughs> the Thorn feed, the Thorn data sheet or the Philips data sheet? Can you type, uh, let's say, this is A and this is B. Okay, Paula said B, Thorn. Yes, Paula, Thorn. Manuel said B, EL said A, <laughs> okay. Okay, this is, this is my opinion based on my 10 years experience in lighting design. I would choose letter B, Thorn. I don't, I'm not biased, it's just that I'm going to explain it now. See, the Thorn data sheet, you can see right now, based on the specification text and data sheet, uh, uh, specification that I mentioned a while ago. This uh, Philips data sheet is so long, I'm sure it is complete, but... What is lacking in the, in the Philips? Philips doesn't have, yes, this one. It doesn't have the drawing like this, the dimension. Also, it doesn't have the photometric of diagram. See, nothing is here. Yes, correct, Paula. Nothing, no photometric at all. It has picture both. Yes, correct. We have both pictures. These are two important things in just by looking the data sheet. You can play with the wattage later on, the optics, the materials and everything. But here, by looking at these two pictures, these are the important things in lighting design. Okay? You might think this small text is not complete, but if you read it, it's already complete. IP rating, IK rating, temperature, codes, and even the materials and lumen output is already there. Even the... Windage, it's already here. The color, the ULR, D-U-L-O-R, and whatever is also the. It's even mentioned the balance. It's dim, dimming, dimming. The balance is dimming. Okay, I don't know if Philips also have the same. You can read that one. But the more precise, specific, and complete in one sheet, the better. That's just my opinion. Okay, so guys, thank you very much for extending your time for today. And I hope you learned a lot today's training. All right, so thank you very much, guys. See you again next week. Have a good weekend. Bye.